Hello everybody, this is me, Gabriel, and today I'm going to teach you how to install Battlefield 4 on your Linux computer. So first off, there are two ways to do this. The first way is if you bought the game on Steam, you can literally just come here and install the game. It will install everything and it will literally just run just fine. I already tried it out. I um, also tried Battlefield 5 here because I... I have subscribed to EA Play here, but just for a little test. And I can confirm that Battlefield 5 and 4 are working through Steam. You can also see that on ProtonDB. Anyways, uh, but the way I will teach you instead is by the EA Play app. On, I'm sorry, the EA Desktop or EA app. Um, which is the, 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 the way that I bought the game like in 2014. So what you're going to do is to, in my case, I'm using Ubuntu here. Uh, I stopped using Fedora. I actually now am using Ubuntu uh, as my daily driver. So in my case, you can just come here to the software store and download this software called Lotris. Uh, it will install it for you. And now you just open it here. And you're going to be presented with this screen here. All you have to do is to add a new game. It's going to show you the, these options. You have to search on the Lutri's website for installers. And here you type EA Desktop. Oh, and by the way, there's already a video on YouTube teaching how to do this, but it's kind of an old way of doing that. Now it's like much simpler. You really just have to come here and install this EA app. Um, in my case, I installed the open beta but you can also, I guess, install the standard. I, I haven't tested this, so if you just want to follow a way that works, just install this open beta here. So just choose a path to install it and install it. It, it, it literally just have to like next, 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 next until it installs. I'm not going to do that because I already have the app here. So, oh, and one detail also is that when you finish installing it, you have to close the window that, uh, from EA app that opens because it will be like a blank window with no text on it. So in the right top corner, you you see that the mouse will change to a selection thing and you can close it and the installation will be completed. So after, okay, so I'm just gonna cancel this. After you install it, all you have to do is to just open it here, uh, double click it in my case, right? Uh, it's gonna open here. Uh, you have to log in with your account. Uh, that's personally on you. And this is absolutely already working. You can come here to your library and install any game you own on EA Desktop. In my case, I installed Battlefield 4 because I really like the multiplayer on this game. So you just like, for example, if I wanted to install Battlefield 3, all I have to do is to click here and just leave the default uh, installation path here and just click advance and it will install. Truly, there's like nothing else to it. It's just this. Seriously, it's that easy. So now you can play. Uh, one thing that I really like about Lutris is that they already configured uh, the, the runner to be Lutris Wine, which already includes like the XVK and stuff like that. It's kind of like how Proton is. Okay, everyone. Um, I recorded myself playing Battlefield 4, but I was using the pipe wire method for recording the screen. And it turns out that the screen was black in OBS. I do not know why that happened. But anyways, I changed it to uh, window recording uh, via X Composite now, and it seems to be working. So I'll just record a little bit of gameplay here to show you. See, I'm on Linux and I'm playing Battlefield 4 via Lotris and EA Desktop. So let's just play a quick match here. Um, I'll serve the brow I'll browse the servers. <laughs> I'm not gonna serve the browsers. I'm gonna browse the servers. That's what I, I was trying to say. <laughs> Anyways, let's just join a server real quickly here. So one of the few points that I was mentioning is that the first like two minutes of gameplay, there's a little bit of stuttering on my PC. It's not like stuttering, stuttering for a, a second. It's like literally a micro stutter. It, it happens so quickly and it goes away so quickly. Like, um, see, it stuttered here a little bit, but probably not stutter anymore 
Okay, there's someone behind it seems. No, it was just the explosion, I guess. So wait. Get my sniper here. I'm gonna try to do a few headshots here just to show you that yeah, the game is perfectly playable in my system. Uh, again, I'm using an RTX 3060 Ti. It's not the most powerful GPU, but this game is also quite old, so it's expected for it to run pretty goddamn fine. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you the graphic settings. Because I, I showed you the graphic settings in my previous recording that went to hell, of course. Um, I'm running the game at my maximum resolution at 75 hertz. All the settings are on ultra. Everything maxed out. And yes, you can definitely play that. Uh, it seems that I was looking for the wrong direction here. So let's just go to the right place before I start doing some headshots, I guess. Wait, wait. These guys are literally just shooting everywhere. No, so close. Thank you, finally. It wasn't a headshot, but whatever. Counts as kill, right? Okay, I didn't shoot the guy, but someone shot it. Almost, almost, oh no. He was on my, huh. Okay, that's sad. Anyways, uh, just to show you that the game is running perfectly on my system, and yes, you can play Battlefield 4. I also tested Battlefield 5, and it could also run the game quite nicely. So yeah, uh, I really like Battlefield, so I'm, I'm really happy that I can play this game on Linux without any problem. And it's running perfectly. Oh no, 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 no! Wait. No! Yeah, I should stop drop shotting when I'm using a sniper, but yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Uh, I hope it, I was helpful to you. And see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. Goodbye. What the freak?